Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make these holiday treats for any work or Christmas party or if you just want a cool festive snack to have around the house. So stay tuned and let's get started. So the first treat we're gonna make is the peppermint bark. Some things you'll need, a bowl, chocolate candy melts, and pretzels, and then peppermint candies. So we're going to start by placing the candy melts into a bowl, and I'm going to microwave that for 30 seconds to a minute until it melts. While that is in the microwave, I'm going to crumble up these pretzels and get them all chopped up and small. And I'm just using mini pretzels because I had them around the house, but you can use whatever kind of pretzels you'd like. And then so once that's all in there, just spread it out till it covers the bottom surface. By that time, the candy melt should be done melting in the microwave. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the candy out of the microwave and as you will see it's got a smooth consistency. I'm just going to mix it up to get it all evenly distributed and then go ahead and pour it all around the bowl till you cover most of the surface of the pretzels. Now that we've got that for our top layer, I'm going to go ahead and take the peppermint candies and crush them up. I placed them inside this Ziploc bag just to keep it from making such a mess. As you will see, some of it kind of came out on the bottom on the table there. So that's why the Ziploc is helpful. So just crush them up. They don't have to be super small. And then you are going to take them and pour them all over the top of the red layer. And this doesn't have to be any particular order. You can put as little or as much as you want. It's completely your choice. So now that we've got that all distributed over the top layer, this is what the finished result looks like. And then I'm just going to stick it in my freezer for 30 minutes to an hour or till I finish the rest of the snacks. And then I'll take it out. Now on to our Grinch Santa treats. So you need strawberries, bananas, marshmallows, and toothpicks. So we're going to start with our strawberries first. And I'm going to take them one by one, cutting off the green stem part of the strawberry. You want to cut this so you have a flat and smooth surface while still having um, most of the strawberry there for your Santa hat. And then just continue this throughout the rest of the strawberries. Next, we will need some grapes. I forgot to mention this earlier, but we need that for the Grinch's face. And then we'll start by cutting the bananas. You want to cut them in not too small but not too big of sections and then just continue throughout the rest of the banana. If you make it too small, you can just eat it. So now we're going to take our toothpick and then use the sharp side. That side should be going up. And you're going to slide on the grape first and then grab a banana because that's going to be the base of the hat. And then you'll grab your strawberry and then slide the strawberry on top. Make sure you have enough room to fit the strawberry on there. And then you should have a little part hanging out for your marshmallow. And then that completes the Grinch Santa hat. And then you'll just continue to repeat this process throughout the rest of the fruit. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, nasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. So 
single one last time. It is the grape first for the Grinch's face, then your banana, and then you will add the strawberry for the Santa hat, and then the marshmallow will be the white cotton ball at the end. And here we have the final result after you've finished all of your Grinch Santa hats. This is what it should look like. And now moving along to our melting snowman peppermint hot chocolate. So we'll need a hot chocolate mix. And then I'm just going to take the pot, put it on the stove, and pour in some milk. You can use water or milk, whatever you prefer. I like milk to make it more rich. And then just bring that to a boil. And then we're going to go ahead and take a packet of our hot chocolate mix and dump it in there. Um, the more people you are serving, the more packets you may want to add. So today I'm adding two packets in. Better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming to town. So after you've added the packets, give it a good stir to get everything mixed in together. And then um, this is what it should look like when you're finished. And then you can just pour it into your favorite Christmas mugs or mug of your choice. I chose this cup. And then we'll add in our marshmallows. So what's hot chocolate without whipped cream? Go ahead and add that bad boy as little or as much as you want. And then take your crushed up peppermint candy and sprinkle that all over the top, putting, again, as little or as much as you want. The more you put, the more of the peppermint flavor you'll have. So now I'm going to just take the snowman head that I got, a part of a snowman hot chocolate kit that I got at Target. And it came along with this peppermint stick that I'm going to use to be his arm. And go ahead and stick that in there and it adds just more of a peppermint flavor and there you have it your melting snowman peppermint hot chocolate so now that our other treats are finished I'm going to take our peppermint bark out of the freezer and then just quickly get it off of the bottom of the bowl which it comes up super easily and then just grab a knife and start cutting it you can cut it into any shape or however you want it I just made random cuts because I didn't need it to be perfect. And so this is the end of what the peppermint bark looks like. And I just placed it on a plate along with our Grinch Santa hats. You can put it on a decorative plate if you want. But this is what you will end up with. And then along with our melting snowman peppermint hot chocolate. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a Merry Christmas.